Another edition of the Coach and the Scribe, Chris Rossetti here along with the coach, Jess Quinn, uh, brought to you by the Rehab Centers with locations in Clarion, Brookville, Catanning, uh, that's three of their six, so you can reach them one number, get you into any of their offices, any six, of, any one of the six offices, 724-478-1501, that's 478-1501, area code 724, check them out online at therehabcenters.com, and that's the old English spelling of centers with the R-E. Uh, Jess, we just watched Keystone uh, really dismantle in the second half, Carn City tonight, uh, really take control of that KSAC South race. They really did. Um, uh, we were just talking with Coach Heath. They came out focused uh, in this game. They, they came out with an ag uh, aggressive defense that, that was not there um, Friday night against Clarion. They attacked the 1-3-1 one, one zone that Carn City came after tonight. That's something they didn't do Friday night. You know, you and I talked after their game Friday at Clarion, and I said that the coach was gonna use this game, you know, and turn it and, and get them refocused, and boy, they were tonight. They really did a great job defensively on Chase Bailey. He had had th four consecutive 30-point games, ended, I think, with 11 points tonight. He did, you know, and, and it was a combination of players. Alex Rapp had him for a while. Um, Isaac Jones had him for a while. And it was just, uh, there, were, there were times where, um, Troy Johnson came off of his man, stopped him from cutting and wide open. It would have been, you know, for Chase Bailey, but it was a great team defense to really shut him down. Uh, yeah, now they're in, they're in complete control of that case X out. They've got a one game lead in the in the loss column against Carn City, but they also hold the tiebreaker, so they can lose that game and and still win the division. So uh, they they couldn't ask to be in a better place now. With I think. Uh, what uh, four four conference games left? Right. Um, you know they basically need to win three of those four, and they and they win without any uh, any help from anybody else. So they're in a good they're in good shape. Speaking of good shape, uh, Ridgeway um, really showed uh, that hey, you know don't don't write our obituary quite yet. Right. Uh, you know they took a 17 nothing lead on CL last night, and uh, you know ended up winning by 16. But it was really all about the start and really about the AML once again showing its dominance. It is, you know, you and I were standing there when I saw that it was 17 nothing, you said game over. You know, just with that style of defense that they play, and that's not a knock against CL, it's just that style. Um, you know, and you look at the, that, the way that they play up north, and it is, it's a lockdown defense. They smothered Clarion Limestone. They, they had trouble even getting it across, you know, in the first quarter, getting it across the timeline um, and took advantage of that. So like we talked about, you don't want to be on that side of the bracket come D9 playoff time with Ridgeway. The other side is countersport, you know, from the from up north. So Well, unless unless they end up because Ridgeway's got some losses, it's possible that Cowdy and Ridgeway could end up on the same side of the bracket, True. which uh, you know, really would be unfortunate because I think they're the two best teams in class double. And all due respect to Keystone, sure. all due respect to Carn City. I think those are the two best teams and they probably belong on that side. That's a whole nother story. The whole we could go on and on about District 9 seating formula and, and how messed up it can be sometimes. But right. um, one other quick thing Tomorrow night, you and I are going to be over in Dubois for a huge game over there. Dubois, Elk County Catholic, uh, first place in the uh, D9 leagues D9 on league, stake. Right. Uh, you know, it seems like we're just walking around and going to all these games that are bi that are big time for first place. See, that's what happens when you join the media, Jess. You don't have to, <laughs> like, deal with games that don't mean anything. You can be at games that mean something. But that's going to be a big game. And, you know, long win streak for Elk. I think it's 15 games in a row over Dubois. Seven point game up there earlier in the year. Uh, really expect a good game tomorrow night. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. 47 40 uh, in their first matchup. You know, Elk holds the, the you know, a long time uh, streak, you know, win streak against Dubois. But I'm really excited to see what, you know, Coach Bennett's going to have for them coming off that first loss, you know, with, with Elk County. Um, and I'm also going to, I'm really excited to watch, you know, Coach Straub up there, um, you know, in their offense. It, you know, go at Dubois' you know, size. How are they going to do it? Are they going to stay on the perimeter? Are they going to go inside? I'm really excited for it. Yeah, it should be a great game. Abbreviated edition of the Coach and the Scribe tonight because we're going to have a couple more of these this week. We're going to have another one tomorrow night, most likely. We're going to have another one probably Friday night. Friday night. So, uh, anyhow, once again, Coach and the Scribe brought to you by the Rehab Center. Jess, give us that number again. 724. 478-1501. www.therehabcenters.com. For Jess Quinn, I'm Chris Rossetti saying good night.